Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Musty Table Studio. I am doing a video today because I am late. Um, I haven't done video in the last two weeks and so I'm going to do this one and it may not come out till Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Tuesday. We'll see. So what I'm doing is I'm showing you where I am all day and the reason I have not recorded any videos. So let's see if we can adjust. There we go. I'm holding my camera so I'm trying not to make anybody dizzy. But this is where, there's the dogs barking in the house. This is where I spend a lot of time. This is a workbench that my husband rigged up for me so that I can use my tools. There's, let me go down below. I have a couple of uh, little plastic drawer containers uh, to store my Dremel and extra supplies. All right, let me go closer so you can see. Here is my mini miter saw. I'm sorry, there's only one light here in the garage. This is my mini miter saw. Wait, maybe I can turn on the light. Hang on one second, let's see. Oh, it's not gonna do any good. Well, let me turn around. Oops, maybe this will help, sorry. Garage things do not go the way that you think they're going to go. All right, so here's my mini miter saw and the plug. <laughs> It's very small and it's meant for hobbyists to do um, wood cuts. Here it is from the side. There's the, there's the blade inside there. That's a protective cover. And in order to keep you from slicing off your digits, there is a fail safe where you have to press this. You turn this on and you have to press this down to lower it. So far, with the many months that I've had it, I've not cut myself on it once. That's a knock on wood. <laughs> All right, so here are my supplies. And yes, my desk is a mess. I did not clean it up because I want you to see what it's really like. My husband put up a pegboard for me that I don't really utilize the way I thought I would, but I will eventually, because I'm moving more and more of my things out here that I don't want on my art table in the house. There's my Dremel tool. I love this Dremel. All right, so we recently bought four metal legs off of Amazon for $30, $40. Um, and we had a spare desktop from an Ikea setup. And I had my husband put the legs on, see a black leg down there? Put the legs on this so that we didn't have to spend money on wood to build another frame for a table to sit on. The wood that the other one was on that I just showed you was scrap wood from the from the shed. We didn't really spend a whole lot of money on that, and I'm happy about that, but this was 40 bucks to set me up for a longer table because it is too hard for me to paint and do things and saw and drill on this table because I don't want sawdust all over everything, and I have a shop back out here where I vacuum stuff off constantly. But nevertheless, I needed the room so that I could spread out a little more because I need a place where I can paint, leave my painting supplies out here to dry in the garage. It is a little uncomfortable today. Um, after about 10.30 in the morning, the garage gets too unbearable to work in. So sometimes I'll come in here at night. Sometimes I will come in at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and work till 10.30 in here prepping stuff and then go back into the house to do the finishing. So there's the other part of my table, and then there's my freezer, a cart, a trash can. So it's this is the reason why I have not done videos. It's because I'm in the throes of doing Artemat, and it takes time, and it takes um, time. <laughs> it takes lots and lots of time because I do little fiddly things that I enjoy, but it does chew up a lot of my time. So hence, no video for the last two weeks. All right, I'm going to go in the house and show you the desk in the house. Okay, I am in the house. And let me back up a little bit to show you what um, creativity looks like when you're in the throes. There's my desk. It looks pretty bad right now because I am working on sewing 50 little mini books with Coptic Stitch. It takes a little bit of time. So I do that while I watch TV, which is uh, bolted to the wall. And I play that or I look at things on the computer 
while I am sewing. Right there's the disc, and here is the continuation. There is a corner, and it looks really bad. I'm not trying to cover up how neat it is. When I finish a project, I clean it all up, and I do make it look neat because I can't take all the cluttery stuff. But right now, it's cluttered. Here's a side cart that I bought at Michael's a while ago, and I thought it was a terrible cart because I was going to use it for my sewing machine, and it bounced around on it because the metal on it is rather thin. So I put it away in another room thinking, oh, well, I'll sell it. Nope. Um, Artemat came along to my life, and this is the Artemat cart. I have drawers where I store excess, like the drawers that are right here, I store excess supplies in. These are project doors. The top, top one are where the prototypes are stored when I make them, and I put them in there. They're waiting their turn to get made. And the bottom three drawers are where there's three different kinds of projects that are in the works. Um, as I do something, I put it in a small container and put it in that drawer so I can remember all the related projects that belong to that or in one place. I say one place, but pretty much in one place. Let's say that. Um, and that's, that's about it. I mean, it just, it takes over my life. There's my printer, my um, journals that I work in a little bit every day. Nothing creative, just documenting my work. And that's it. And this is the reason why I have not done a video in two weeks. Is because I am sitting here day in and day out. Um, I get up in the morning and in my pajamas I start creating. Then I have coffee. I eat breakfast. I'm eating breakfast while I'm sitting at this table right here. Because I'm already in here in my PJs drinking my coffee trying to do stuff. Then I go take a shower. I get dressed. And I'm back in here again. Um... I try to get up and do loads of laundry in between things. I try to vacuum between things. You know, your life goes on. Despite your art, it, it can't let your house crumble around you. So I try to do little things in between. My back hurts, so I try to stand up every hour and a half, two hours, walk around the house a little bit. You know, I'm not getting exercise, so that's about as good as it does for me. Fitbit would die of lack of interest. If I wore one, I could see that I probably wouldn't have more than 200 steps a day. Not great. I understand that. But this is my life. Um, so that's it. I think, pretty much. Uh, I have... Uh, wait, let me show you a couple little shelves that I have. Because I have so little mini things, I decided to make a shelf dedicated just to mini creations. As you can see at the top, there's some that are too tall to put on the shelf. So this is made out of those giant paint sticks. I cut off the handles where they indentate for you to hold them to stir the paint with and then I glued them all together to create a little shadow box. So these are things I've made in the past. These are things that I might make in the future. These are just for me. Not everything I create goes on here. As a matter of fact, this is only a small sample of the stuff I may or may not do or I've already done. And that's it. And down below it is little miniature things, another little shadow box of miniature things. Some of them are Artemat things. Some of them are filled with very tiny paper beads that I wanted to display. Although they face the window and nobody ever sees them, but you know, it was a good intentions. Okay, so that explains why no video in the last two weeks, because I'm really busy. I promise to try to keep up as best I can. And that's about as good as it's going to get for me this week. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you understand. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you subscribing. See you guys next time. Bye.